Hello, it's a rather cold, wet and miserable Monday the 14th, but I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief, so on we go. Now, the Government's Investment Summit, that will go ahead today. The kickoff was saved by some rather frantic 11th hour back-channel diplomacy from Starmer. He apologised to the Emiratis and publicly admonished Louise Hay for describing P&O as a rogue operator last week. He told reporters that this was not the view of the government. Yes, P&O sacked around 800 seafarers and yes, they replaced them with cheaper workers, but that was back in 2022. We do not want them to boycott the investment summit or risk the £1 billion investment to overhaul the London uh, Gateway Container Terminal. So the summit should now bring together hundreds of global investors and showcase how Britain is open for business, while of course sweeping the standards of staff treatment under the carpet for now. Jolly good show. We have uh, inflation data due out on Wednesday this week. Headline inflation is forecast to drop from 2.2% in August to around 1.8% or 1.9% in September. And that would be the first time in three years that it came out under the 2% target. Where the market is a little unsure about the MPC's next meeting, if inflation does drop below the 2% number, it will encourage the doves to back another rate cut. Um, Over in the US, something Powell may declare victory over inflation this week. Despite the slightly disappointing CPI data last week, uh, the latest payrolls data showed strong um, job growth. And some feel that puts him in a position to claim the soft landing and to crack on with the rate cutting cycle with a slow and steady approach, perhaps over the next 12 to 18 months. In the market, we kick off the new week around 130.65 against the dollar, 119.60 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 109.25 on the open. And that's it from me. Hope things brighten up for you. Onwards from here. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.